Hey guys, um, hopefully you like this video today. I uh, broke my phone right before I made it, so um, just wanted to go over a couple things. Um, I guess a review on grips and stuff and, and kind of what my favorite is. Um, the guns I have here today are going to be the Staccato, uh, the new Staccato XC from STI, uh, also the Combat Master, and then the DVC-3 gun. So a couple of the older ones um, and one of their brand new ones. Now all the guns are clear. And we'll go through them real quick. Um, so one of the biggest questions I get all the time is which, uh, which grip I prefer. Um, I will say I do love the DVC grip. Uh, the stippling on it is awesome. Uh, I've always liked that grip with the double undercut and everything. Extreme Shooters does an awesome job on it. Now, just so everyone is aware, they do offer a stippling service uh, for the new Gen 2 grip. Uh, so you can either send it off or I think you can even buy one that's already done. So if you want to switch them out now. Um, other thing to know is if you do take it off or switch it, STI says they will void the warranty to the original purchaser. Uh, so that's at your own risk if you feel like doing it. Um, <clears throat> so first things first, I'm blessed to have these three guns. Uh, they cost me some money. Uh, I, what I did was I ended up selling a couple other STIs uh, to make up for the cost of the XC because it is quite expensive. Uh, they come in at $4,300. Yeah, that's before tax. <clears throat> then you add in a light optic. Uh, I chose the Hollow Sun 50C version two. Uh, so far, it's it's been great. Uh, I know everyone's really uh, really big on the RMRs, uh, the Trigicon, but I felt like trying this one out after reading some of the reviews on it. And uh, I have some people that I know that use them on theirs, and they love them. Uh, so I put it on mine. Uh, so far, I've got about 400 400 or so rounds through the XC. Uh, everything went without a hitch. It it, it runs great. Honestly, uh, some people probably hate to even hear me say it. I prefer it to the Combat Master. It shoots better. It shoots flatter. Um, honestly, if, if I'm gonna you know dance around in the four thousand dollar range, I'm gonna go with the XC. If I had to choose between the two or all three, it'd probably still be the XC. Um, the <clears throat> the Combat Masters on Gunbroker are going for quite a bit of money right now. Uh, I've seen anywhere between four grand where they sold new. Um, and I've even seen one at $8,000. Uh, personally, if that's gonna be the prices, I would definitely go with the XC. I'm gonna keep both, or all three, because I love these three. I think these are the three best ones that STI has ever put out. Um, if you wanted to save a little bit money, I could see going with an XL or a DVC-3 gun if there are even uh, any three guns out there right now. I know those are kind of getting really hard to find on Gun Broker. It's pretty rare now to see them. Um, as far as the grip though, I know everyone, <clears throat> a lot of people, and myself included, with the new grip, I was very vocal about not liking the way it looked. Uh, I still prefer the look of the older grip, uh, the DVC grip. Now, with that being said, after shooting this gun and after holding this grip, I like the Gen 2 grip. And I, I'm more about, you know, function than than looks at the end of the day and this grip works um i'm not paid by sti i'm not paid i wasn't given anything i wish i was after you know all the money i've spent with them um but this is definitely i paid for this gun there's no no sponsorships or anything here this grip this grip is the real deal um i love the way the grip feels now the one thing i i am waiting on and i talked to somebody at sti is the uh the wider you know pad for the mag release uh, the Dawson ones on my other guns, I really like them. They've got a really aggressive uh, texture to them. So STI did say they were working on a tapped button, so that way you could do that. Another thing I will say with this newer grip, I don't know if it's something that they did in the mag release or the grip itself, but it's a lot smoother uh, to release it. If you have any of the older STIs, you'll notice the factory ones are a little like gritty. You can feel like it's, it's not very smooth. Uh, so with my combat master it actually isn't too bad uh with the other three guns that i had in my tactical it was super gritty so this three gun actually has the dawson piece in it and it's super smooth so if you guys do have a first gen or 
I guess it would still be a first gen grip. Uh, there are the DVC grips and it feels a little gritty. You can always get that Dawson piece and it does clean that up, makes it a lot smoother. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of all I really wanted to go over with you guys today. Um, I've had a lot of fun shooting this XC now with this whole coronavirus thing. Hopefully this thing slacks off and I can get back to the range soon uh, and do some more shooting. If you guys want to see some shooting videos, there's a bunch of them out there. People shooting Combat Masters and XCs and you can see how well they shoot. Um, the XC is the business though. That is, the, this is my favorite gun now out of all of my guns. Um, and it will definitely be sticking around with me. <laughs> um, if you guys are able to find an Omni or a DVCP Duo uh, or the Costa Carry Comps, I mean, those are good options as well. Might save you a few dollars. Uh, the prices on the new Staccato line have gone up. I can understand it. Um, they're expensive. So if you guys have questions, just leave a, leave a question below or send me a message. I'm more than happy to answer it. I uh, just wanted to give an honest review, though, of my, my feel on the grip. I, I prefer the new Gen 2 grip um, for feel. Uh, as far as looks, I prefer the DVC grip. Now, I may eventually send it off or, or have another grip done for my XC uh, with that with the Extreme Shooter stuff. So check them out. Um, they offer a great service. Um, once again, thanks for watching, and I appreciate you guys' time.